the Adjustment Bureau suggests that the root problem of human existence is not uh, sin, but it's immaturity. And so you have this idea that uh, that free will was given to us, and then um, uh, the Adjustment Bureau, the chairman and his handlers, or heaven, as, as they're, I think they're supposed to be connected to, sort of stepped back and, and saw what we would do, and, and things got bad. We had the Dark Ages, and so they got back involved, and they gave us the Renaissance and the Enlightenment, and then they stepped back, and we, we had the World Wars, and we had Holocaust. And so ultimately there was this idea that um, they stepped back into the picture, and they took away our free will. They, um, they, they started to, to give us the illusion of free will, but to really to begin to micromanage things because we weren't mature enough to handle freedom. You know, is that a biblical idea? Definitely not. Uh, God has given us freedom. How we, and again, we have to define that carefully, which we don't have time to do right here. But God has given us freedom, and having given us freedom, He has allowed us to to, to play that out, to, to 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 let it realize its full consequences. And unfortunately, the reality of that is horrible. Now, in my opinion, uh, God has not removed our freedom from us uh, because. It, our experience of what happens when we sin is critical to his ultimate plan. I, I think I often use this analogy that when I moved into the house that I'm, I'm, I'm living in right now, uh, my wife and I noticed the stove had these burners that didn't, you didn't really see much of a burn. It was just sort of a marked place. And when you flipped them on, they got red. And it was interesting about it was it was our kids when they were young really desperately wanted to touch those things. You didn't feel a lot of heat radiating off of them until you actually put a pot on them. Uh, they, they were bright red, they were kind of inviting, and our kids really wanted to touch them. Of course, we didn't let them do that, but the interesting thing to, to ask is, you know, what would have happened if they had touched it? And I think the answer is, they would never do that again. But they'd be able to do that again. I mean, I mean, they would they would literally have the ability to touch the burner again. But of course, having done it once and experienced how horrible it was, they would never ever want to touch it again. And so they could probably go literally for the rest of eternity, perfectly able to touch the burner, but absolutely unwilling to do so, and therefore never touching it again. And I wonder if we're not actually experiencing the same kind of thing that, that God has allowed us to touch the burner of the stove, so to speak. And so our exercise of freedom to turn from God and to commit sin has created a, a, a world situation that's so horrible that when we actually see it for what it is, and I don't think we fully see it now because sometimes sin doesn't look so bad, but, but there's coming a day when everything has been made new again that we look back on this experience of life away from God and in the midst of sin, and we, and we see it for what it is. We experience the pain of it so poignantly, so clearly, so pointedly, that the desire is literally burned out of us. And so we will never desire to sin ever again. We'll be capable of it, and, and, and since we'll still have the freedom to do it, but we'll never do it again because we won't want to anymore. And so I think the Adjustment Bureau definitely paints a false picture here. You know, heaven has not continually moved in and restricted our freedom and then given it back and then, you know, sort of let us go back and forth based on our immaturity. But no, heaven has continued to allow us the the respect almost of continuing through with the consequences of our sin. And God allows that simply because the end result is the kind of creatures that he designed us to be in the first place.